madam. Good evening, ma'am. You say? Yes, ma. I'll get there. I'll be right there, ma. Just I'll check on him. Okay, ma. Oga, what is taking so long? We don't almost finish. Now the APS, the sensor no peak. And if you no peak like that, far no go roll. But don't fix them, don't worry. Don't worry, I don't almost finish. I'm gonna make you for no, no sleep for here, please. When I small, no be small work I do for here. No be small work. Please, but I'm, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Madam, they call me, I beg, I beg. Oga, please start it for me. Okay. Raise them, raise them. Put on the AC, AC. Full lights, full lights, full lights. Okay. My bad boy. Like I'm bad. I mean, uh. Make up. Oh yeah, good to go. Hello, John Bosco. Why are you not here yet? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. The mechanic had a little challenge that took most of my time. You couldn't call me to tell me? I didn't realize how much time he took until now. Until your call came in. Hurry up and take me home. I'm already on my way, ma'am. Madam, I just see my missed calls. I'm just cleaning the hotel. It has been crazy. What? You're just settling in? I thought you had an early flight schedule. I had, but it was shifted to evening flight. I'm so famished. I need to get something to eat. Um, just coming back from work as well. Just call me after the seminar, okay? I love you. Bye. Love you more. Bye. Give me spanner now. Daniel. Pale. Why are we still on this car? No, Pale, they bring one emergency car. We see me quickly go now before we come back to this one. But are you aware that this vehicle will leave there by tomorrow? Pale, not me now. We'll finish it. No worry now. No worry. Oh, no, no, you're tight on yeah? me. Yeah, they're not sure, you know. This one. What? In Moscow? Good morning, ma. What are you doing? Are you still on this? I'm I sorry, ma. I'm still washing it. I'm still, I'm almost done. Sorry, ma. Oh, please, can you hurry up? I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Okay, ma. I'll do that right away. Sure. How long? How much longer? Just give me like five minutes, I'll do it right away. Five? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, it's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Only have eyes for you When I close my eyes Surprise! Oh my God! Oh my God! I know, I know. You didn't tell me you're coming into town. I told you, would you be a surprise? 
<laughs> you, you are too sneaky for a lady. Hope you know that. I know. I brought this because I know you're going to say, I don't want to go to the club. I don't want to go to the club. So I brought this. Let's celebrate. And who says we can't go to the club? I know you. So I brought the party to you. <laughs> so what are we celebrating? Um, we're elevating to celebrate. <laughs> what does that even mean? We're elevating to celebrate. Can you stop? I don't know about <laughs> I'm just gonna get my secretary to get glasses so we can turn around, turn around. Who's there? Good evening, ma. It's me, John Bosco. Mr. So John Bosco, is it not rather too late for you to be at my door? I'm so sorry, ma, but there's something important I have to share with you. And you cannot wait till dawn. I'm busy with work. I wouldn't take too much of your time, ma. Just sit. Thank you, Ma. Let's hear it. I know I've been working with you for five years now. Okay. Did you come here to remind me of that? I've not really had a number of times and have been far from my family, especially my wife and children. Mr. John Bosco, can you go straight to the point? I told you I was busy. I lost my father a few days ago. And has really been putting for days now. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. Why didn't you say anything? I figured that you'd be very busy and I feel that this was the right time for me to do. Oh my God, John Bosco, you should have at least told me. I'm so sorry, okay? Accept my deepest condolence. If you need anything, let me know. Anyhow, I can help. I, I, I will. Thank you, Ma. But that's not it, Ma. My father holds a very big position in the village. And as a first son, I'm next in line. Okay. Um, go home and represent your family and come back when you're done. That's fine. I will help with anything you need. Thank you, Ma. But that's not it, Ma. I wouldn't be around for this because I am resigning today, Ma. I'm so sorry, Ma. Just really have to do this. But not to worry. I will be here for you. I'll be around for you, and depending on when you get the next person. I'm so sorry. Yo. CV says you have zero experience in driving. How did you intend to pick up a job as a driver without any experience? Yes, ma'am. That's why I applied, ma'am. Without any employment, I can't have an experience. How long did you learn how to drive for? Mm, just two months, ma'am. Two months? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um... Here you go. Oh, in touch, okay? Please, ma, I really need this job. I can't try it. Like I said, we'll keep in touch. Just wait for my call. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry. The description says male, not female. Thank you. Bye. So you're serious? Like he's serious about it, he's not coming back? Mm-hmm. Well, he's a grown man. He has families, he has responsibilities. Of course he can go, but I'm just saying it's too sudden for me to handle. Yeah. I mean, it's that John Bosco is actually nice and hardworking. He's okay. We found someone else. Yeah, right. 
I don't know if it's my unwillingness to let John Bosco go or the fact that I keep getting unqualified applicants. It's okay. You'll find someone. I'll, I'll help you check. I'll help you look around. I'll ask her. So. Thank you so much. I didn't think I would have a change of driver anytime soon. You know my phobia for driving. It's okay. It's fine. Relax. High blood pressure is real. So you just relax, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll find out my best. You just stress I just need these colors to align. So green hair and then this. Have you, have you, have you done my bookings yet? Ma? Why are you pretending as if you didn't hear it? Have you done the bookings yet? Oh. So you have, you've not been doing it? Uh. I will do it now. Send me my receipts. I will do it. Send me the receipts now. I can't do that if you're with my phone. Can I? Do magic. Send me my, <laughs> send me my receipts now. You're joking. Hmm. Impressive. Mr. Bayo, I hope you know that once you're hired, you'll move into the apartment for drivers. Is that okay? Mr. Bayo? Hello? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I'm really sorry, ma'am. I was just overwhelmed by your sparkless beauty. How are you so beautiful? <laughs> I'm going to apologize for what I'm about. They honestly think that God took out quality time in your creation. Wow. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Please, can we move on? Yes, yes, we can. I'm really sorry if what I just said was inappropriate. Oh, that's, that's fine. It's okay. You are from Nora, right? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. You don't have any issue moving to the apartment once you're hired, right? Yes, 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 I, I don't have any issues. True. Mm. This is good. Jobosco here is going to put you through on everything you need to know, okay? Jobosco, please give Bayo a thorough lecture because you know how much I hate things being done wrongly around me. Yes, I agree. Bayo? Bayo! <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am, I am Did you hear sorry. a word I just said? Listen, I... if you must walk here, you cannot be absent minded around me. I hate that. I, I, I don't like it at all. This is not the first time. Please behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Go on. Forgot focus. Focus. Calm down. See that. Forgot me. Yeah, madam. Welcome, man. Patricia. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Thank I, you. I didn't know you were coming back today. Yes, ma. I had to quickly come back to the house because my mom got much more better. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. That's good news then. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, um, I've already had dinner, so don't worry cooking anything, okay? Are you sure? Because I prepared your favorite meal. Patricia, ah, you're back to make me fat. Don't worry, I've eaten. Okay. All right, ma'am. Let me help you with your bag. Oh, that's sweet. I need a glass of juice as well. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. Bayo, I didn't send for you. What is this about? I'm really sorry to bother you. But what? I was just about going out to have lunch and I thought it wise to come ask if you need me to get something um, for you. Fine. I have a secretary. Okay? And the phone. Full of call. Instead of working in here, we'll have an invitation. You may need, please. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I said you can leave. 
Now people get you food. Right up. Seriously, he makes me so uncomfortable. Mm. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? I don't know. Is this strange aura around him? It's weird. Mm. Makes me so uncomfortable. Mm. Mm -hmm. How did you meet him? My neighbor recommended him. Mm. He has good credentials. It's good. He's alright. Yes, he does, but I don't know. There's something off about him. I can't place it yet, but I don't, know, I don't think I like it. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying your meal? No, I'm not enjoying it. Stop! Uh, <laughs> you think I'm not enjoying it? I don't want meat. Hmm? I want more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's foody. There's too much pepper in this food. I want to eat it. I need you to buy your buy your what? Wait, wait. Is that my picture? Are, are you insane? What were you doing with my picture, you pervert? I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to see this, okay? You arrest my mind, my soul, my heart. I I I, 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 I do not just get out of my house. I will arrest you now. Get out! Hold it anymore. You pervert! Leave my house, maniac! Disgusting! Get out! Leave! I love you! You, you love... I will slap your head off if you don't get out of my house! Now! What are you still doing here, you maniac? Leave! Hey! Don't even... Touch me with that filthy hands of yours! What the... Oh my god! Ew! And you better leave this house because I'm doing what to feel you ever again. Do you understand what I'm saying? We know that in this our work, nobody is perfect. Eh? Nobody. But when we are doing work, we are doing it diligently so that our customers will be satisfied. Yes. Eh? Uh, so that the car will not break down immediately. Eh? Next time they will bring the vehicle. Eh? So be, 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 be diligent. Be diligent. Uh, uh, I hope I've made myself clear. Yes. Okay, Absolutely. you can now go back to your work. Hello? Uh, Daniel! Daniel! Uh, a, a work just came out now for you to come and do. Uh, pick up your tools, some tools, and you remember that John Bosco? Uh -huh, that guy with the yeah, their car. Their car broke down in the house, so I want you to go there. Okay, bye. Um, take this. <laughs> take, take this for transport. Hmm? Okay. For transportation. No go fix it and call me. Uh, yeah. I'll call you from there. Yeah, call me from there. Eh? All right. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, go, go, go back to your work. Go back to your work. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Jerry, please, who are you? I'm the mechanic. They sent for me. The mechanic? They sent me the mechanic. Okay, let me get it. All right, just come outside. Thank you. Um, I'm having a little challenge at home and that may cause my delay. I'm wondering if we can move it up a little bit, maybe in an hour's time. Is that okay? Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. I'll have my secretary schedule it. Thank you so much. See you soon. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry about that. I had to take it. My name is Sharon. And you are? Daniel. My, my boss said you had issues with your car, so I should come out. Actually, I fired my driver not so long ago. And I have an important meeting to attend to. But I can't drive. How do I come in? Oh, good question. I need you to drive me for the day, if you don't mind. And that way you have to do that. I have already spoken to him about that. You don't have to worry. 
I'm sorry, but you you need to freshen up and dress presentable at least. Not here. Just hold on. Patricia. Patricia. Um take Mr. Daniel to the guest room and keep him company. So fresh up, okay? All right. You can go with her. Yes, sir. Miss Ben said. Hmm. This is a perfect fit. I was I was gonna ask that how did you know my size? Oh, I studied fashion designing as a hobby back then in London. Oh. So I can tell someone's size just by looking at them. Right. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Alright, here you go. Okay. Okay. After you. Uh, gentlemen, sorry for keeping you gentlemen waiting. It's okay, shall we? Sure. Um, this is a draft out of a four-bedroom semi-detached apartment built on a 5,000 square meters of 16-unit houses from my company. You can swap to see more. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, there are modern brown gallows that would actually be beneficial to your clients. Due to the fact that he's coming from abroad. Here. Okay, that's nice. A three bedroom bungalow and a four unit apartment can be built on this land. So I remember the cheaper the house, the faster the sales. But, sir, we all know that purchasing of houses and properties is not for those who cannot afford it. Instead of going for the offer of a bungalow, why not settle for a semi-detached? Do you think um, four-bedroom semi-detached would be okay? I don't think so, sir. I think you two should have a recess. Take a little break and reevaluate on your defense, okay? All right? On what will be situated in this 5,000 square meters lab, all right? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, ma. So, excuse me, ma. Um, I I know it might not be my place to say anything, but then I couldn't help but eavesdrop on your conversation earlier on. I don't know if I can offer an advice. <laughs> and what would you know about construction and building? Perhaps I should just say what I want to say. Perhaps. Okay, so you were talking about semi-detached apartments earlier on. I I'm thinking, why not do fully detached apartments instead of semi-detached? Okay, can you elaborate a little bit more? Okay, so what I'm saying is, if you have fully detached apartments, four of them, then you have four owners rather than the semi-detached. Because once you have four owners like that, then each person has his own uh, privacy, his own parking and everything like that. So it makes it easier when they want to sell. And you would actually make more money than if they were semi-detached. Just, just my opinion. I just thought I should share. Hmm. Just my thoughts, Abbas. So after a little break and assessment, we, we've come to terms that we are going to build a three-bedroom bungalow. That would be best for the client. Okay, how about you? Sir, I am confident that a three to four 
bedroom, fully detached apartment will be the best option for your client. That way, each individual has privacy. Let me explain. They both have access, 100% access to their property without any interference. And when it's time to resell, to be just like that, piece of cake. I think you have a point. Yeah, I would like to work with your pitch. Let your company handle it. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. You're Thank welcome. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. So we'll just uh, go to my office and then we'll sell this deal. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you so much for today. I bagged a very important deal because of you. It's not a mess. I hope you don't mind me asking. How come you know so much about building and construction? And your words feel so articulate also. Well, aside from the fact that I'm a mechanic, I actually studied construction engineering in school. I have a BSc in construction management. Wow. Amazing. Oh. But why mechanic, if I may ask? It's also a type of engineering if you look at it oh, differently. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I uh it's getting it. I need to get back to my question. Sure. Yes. Okay. One minute. Here you go. <laughs> Just a little token for all your hard work today. You earned it. Go on. Thank, thank you, ma'am. It's nothing. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <clears throat> let me go and change. Sure. Yeah. Help yourself. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I just wanted to return to this phone and say thank you. Um, I'll be on my way now. Okay. Thank you for today. Daniel. This is yours. Take it. Uh, no, it was just for the meeting and the meeting is over. Thank you very much. I wanted to have it. Take it. It's yours now. Go on. Thank you, Mom. It's nothing. Thank you for the money. It's so. fine. It's okay. Good night. Right. Vale. Hello, Shu. Daniel. Took the whole day to fix just one vehicle. Vale, no bit car I go fix. I go drive. They fire their driver. And she called me to come and drive her. Ah. <laughs> Nobody like my friend John Bosco. I ah, know John Bosco is a correct guy. He's very nice. Man. Not a correct guy. Correct. I, I hope they give you something for wasting your time. Ah. In fact, she gave me 50k. Huh? 50b. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> You don't mean it. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> take this. For your pets. Mm -hmm. uh, take it. Uh, now you can go back to, to your work. Mm -hmm. uh, finish your work. Thank you, brother. You're too brilliant to be in that garage. My company needs someone like you. I mean, you're smart, you're intelligent, and you're good with cars. That's a real potential.
I'm afraid, ma, I can't. But why? You are going to be highly paid. Your accommodation and other logistics will be provided, so you don't have to worry about that. Yes. I, I still can't. I, Listen, I... Mr. Daniel, you don't have to rush anything, okay? Just take your time and think about it. Okay? I'll, I'll think about Okay, perfect then. No. Okay. Please put your number here so I don't have to always call your boss anytime I want to reach you. No, no, I'm not the same. Thank you. Hello. Sure. I'll be waiting for your feedback. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Ah, I was like, swallow me. There you go. So, Trust me, I can't can relate. Hmm. Alcoholic. You know, where is the bottle? Can because. You stop? This is just to wet my my tongue, so there's nothing here. <laughs> Where is it now? I'm serious. I'm <laughs> serious too. You have to quit. Your new driver. <laughs> I've not seen anybody. Well, I found one. Oh. I offered him the job, but he is yet to accept it. Yet to accept a doorstep opportunity. That's real. I know, right? Hmm. I mean, he's not just an ordinary mechanic. He. Hmm. He has potential. He's an asset. He's intelligent. He's, he's outspoken. He's smart. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure he'll come around. So all these sweet words <laughs> for a driver. They are just compliments. Are we talking about the same person? Right? Of course. Are we talking about the same person? The same person that helped me back a very important mm. Hello. Mm. Mm -hmm. Please, bring the bottle. Are we still on this? No, please. Yay! Don't even don't think about it. I don't Please. want to just finish this one. I give you my gist. <laughs> so, what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, Pale. Oh, Pale, you did job. Daniel, yes. You got something I want to ask? Come on, Sidney. What is it? Can I come? They offer me a job so I come to driver for them. What do you mean they offered you job? Did you tell them you are jobless? No, they, they know I work here now. So what did you say? I have not said anything. I think I just left the place. I haven't said anything to them. Good. Because you are not jobless. Uh, you have a contract here. You cannot just go and pick up another contract. Uh, and answer that phone where you go down the rings is money. Answer that phone. Oh, that you are not. You are not leaving this job. I mean, go back to work. Go back to work. All right, for you. Has Mr. Daniel about to call? No. Did he leave a message? Nothing. Okay. Um, have you tried reaching out to him? Okay. That's okay. Thank you.
Um, actually, he told me that you offered him a job. But I can't allow him to work for you. Why, if I may ask? You see, Daniel signed a four-year contract in this garage with us. And part of the contract says that he will not leave until the contract is the four years are completed. I understand you perfectly well, sir. But I do need a new driver. As you know, I have phobia for driving. He has only stayed two years. And he has two more years to stay. I'm sorry, I cannot allow him to. Uh, okay. What if I offer to pay for his remaining years? Yeah, to be a lot of money. Oh. That's fine by me. I don't mind. Just help me talk to him. I will come back tomorrow so we can finalize. I have to run now. Thank you, sir. I'll be hoping to hear from you. Have a nice day. You too, sir. Like, is it not too extreme what you're doing for that man? Is it not too extreme? You can always put up a new vacancy for a new driver. You know what happened with the last one? I don't want to end up with another maniac. Yeah. Everybody cannot be like, buy or buy or buy or buy or You know what actually sounds crazy? You want to pay a stranger's two-year contract just to employ him? Just to employ him. Like a property, just have to buy the person like a property. Don't look at it that way, okay? I mean, the money is not an issue. I can afford to pay him off. But all I'm saying is, I want him to come and work with me. He is smart. He's intelligent. He's talented. I mean, outspoken. Did I mention that he helped me back a very important deal? That is a lot of adjective for one person. Your mouth is just running. Go, go, go. Your eyes is doing. I'm in love. I'm um, sad. I don't know what you're talking about. Can you stop? Oh my God. Please, bring my wine, please. Just oh give my wine. Come on, please. Come on, please. Come on, please. Come on, please. Come All I'm saying is, I really want him to come back and work for me. Mother, you don't understand. He can't come and work for you. His contract with me is still standing, and he cannot leave for any reason whatsoever. But I'm willing to offer you something to break him from that contract. Madam, you don't understand. Please, tell me. What do I have to do to make him work for me? Anything. What do I have to do to convince you that I really want him to work for me? Okay. He can only come and work for you under one condition. I'm listening. That everything is going to make will be wired to me directly into my account. I, I don't think I follow. The salary you are going to pay him will be wired into my own personal account because his contract still stands with me so whatever he's making whether it's inside this place or outside belongs to me well if that's what the contract agreement is saying then it's fine i don't mind can i see him and talk no to no him? no madam you don't talk to him i will talk to him hmm? you can come back tomorrow hmm. okay that's fine Thank you so much. Uh, we come back tomorrow. Have a nice one, eh? You too, sir. Okay, Bye. Uh, where's that boy? Daily! Pali, I can't. I can't. Daniel, sit down. Don't be disrespectful. I never know you to be disrespectful. Sit down. Um, Daniel. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to agitate you. I was only rephrasing what your boss said. Yes, I said it. I said you cannot work in another place when your contract with me is still standing. I know. I know this now. And I don't want to work for her either. Because she's not going to pay me. This, this arrangement is between both of you. So, what exactly do you want? I want to be paid my salary. I mean, earn my own salary by myself. Not see arrangements. Okay, if that's the case, 
Report to the office tomorrow. I'll have my secretary put you through. Do you mean this? It's not a problem at all. Yeah. Do we have a deal? I'm good. Okay. Um, where are you going? I'm going home. Who are you leaving these for? Oh, okay. Maybe I should put it in. Oh, no. It's yours. Take them. Oh, my no. I can't. Just... Don't do that, okay? I bought them for you. I mean, you can't be my driver and not look smart. Besides, you earned it. So, go ahead. Take them with you. Go on. It's too much. No, it's not. Go on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Good night. Yes, good night. Where are you coming from? I just don't know. Came here. I came as fast as I could. All these bags. Ha, ah, Daniel. So just these few days that now are around, now you're still talking up and down. You are flying. You grew wings. You're not ashamed of yourself. Shadi, 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 Shadi. All these things is not good for the baby. Huh? Hey, 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 please. This is the one you said now that I will not like. Don't change the topic. Talk now, you're looking at ah, answer me. If I must answer you, I got a new job, okay? Job? Where are you? Daniel, where did you get a job? Look at that. Bish, cry this is my God. I don't smell in Seth. Daniel, come outside and tell me where you got a job from. Smelling things this house.
Why do you always have to call at the wrong time, Nora? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> no. Hi, Mom. Um, I'm done with. Patricia. Yes, ma'am. I'm coming. Have you seen Daniel? Yes, ma'am. I saw him. He left the house in a hurry. Just like that? Yes, ma'am. That's fine. Go back to what you were doing. Ma, I hope everything is all right. Everything is fine. Thank you. All right, ma'am. Accept it. Ah, ah, a single woman for that matter. No, now. Ah, ah. Try that one. Sadi, if only you just calm down and listen to me. The pay is way better. I say no. So you rather be a, I be a mechanic? I don't care. I will not allow you to work for a woman. Go back to the garage. Ah, ah. what is it? Shadi, don't make this about your jealousy. Okay. Think about the child. We're expecting a child soon. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. See, I don't want to understand. I don't want to leave. I don't care if you have money more than this or not. My point is, you will not work for that woman. Go back to the garage and work like a real man. Work with your hands. My friend, stop. Ah, ah. What is it, Seth? Ah, nagging, nagging, nagging all the time. I don't want you to come a nag. <coughs> don't let my baby become a nag. You're calling me a nag? Just no, Daniel, I'm a nag you know. because I don't want you to work for a woman. Eh, go now. Nah. That's how you be working out, coward. So you to stand here and defend your stupid points. You want to work for a woman. So you come and meet me here. How will you work for a woman in, in, in this Lagos that they'll, they'll collect you from me? You don't know what I've been through. God. Oh, my God. It's been four days since the left without a world or a note. Girl, can you just calm down, please? You know why BP is real? Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. It's real. Just breathe. Calm down. Breathe. It's fine. Or... Oh, 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 the kissing was off. Kissing! Like, Pozilla. Or like, what kind of kiss? Stop. No, 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 you, you didn't give me the food juice, so you have to like, tell me everything. You didn't give me the food juice before. Stop with the jokes, okay? I don't want to do that. Please. I have a lot to worry it's about. Not, this, is, this is important. This is very, you, you know that I'm here to render my professional medical counseling service. So, girl, spit it, spit it, spit medical. it all. Yeah, certified. Just don't be the gist. Fine. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. A few days ago, he was washing the car. Okay, so I know why. Right? Okay, maybe I should just talk about it. So could continue. <laughs> so say the gist. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He was washing the car outside. Okay. Oh my god. He was looking like a slut. Oh. Like she laughed. 
I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> my God, the apps. They were calling my name. Sharon. Sharon. Oh, oh my God. God. I wanted to answer so badly. I almost peed on myself having deja vu. Continue. Don't be talking slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lock was on my side and then he knocked. When I opened the door, he came in looking. What? God. When he handed the keys over, I couldn't keep it together anymore. Girl, I dived. <laughs> See, you know Vienna sang. She was like, bad girl, that song that Vienna sang. She, you are the bad girl she was thinking about. Ha. You are the bad girl she was talking ha. about. I knew it. I knew you had eyes. No wonder you wanted to buy him off like a property. Buy him off. I knew you had eyes on the poor blood. Stop. See, this is not time for jokes, okay? I'm, I'm disturbed. Okay, fine. We made it to the bedroom. Um, after we, you know. You were. Mm -hmm. At six, yeah. nobody's here at six. Five, after we are. Look at him, I slept off, so good. I woke up and he was gone. Just gone. That's serious. No notes, no text, nothing, just gone. Have you tried calling his number? You have his number? I've been trying, but he hasn't been taking my call. Sometimes he doesn't even, doesn't even ring at all. Maybe he blocked me. It's not bad. What about going to his place of work like that? I don't know where he lives. His garage. What about his garage? Yeah. God, what was I thinking? His garage. I have to change. I'm going. Right. So wait. Don't just drink. drink, please. I need smart. Please. It's just little things in the bedroom. Just. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, please, where's Mr. Ibe? Mr. Ibe? Okay. I'm calling now. Good day, sir. Madam. Welcome, madam. Thank you, sir. I hope everything is fine and that my boy is doing well. Uh, um. That's exactly why I'm here, sir. Have you seen or heard from Daniel? Daniel? Uh, uh, not at all. Uh, normally, he calls me first thing in the morning. But uh, for some days now, he has not contacted me. Okay, sir. If you eventually hear from him, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sure, I will do that. But I hope everything is fine before his disappearance. Oh, everything is fine. I... I just need to hear from him, that's all. Okay. I sure will, eh? Thank okay. you so much, sir. Okay. How's work? Yeah, that, we are doing fine. If I see my voice, I agree. All okay. the best, sir. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Okay. I'll be waiting for your call. All right. Thank okay. you, sir. Have a nice one, eh? Thank you, sir. Daniel, where are you coming from? Daniel, answer me. You think you can just go and come back to this house like a chairman? Where are you coming from? Please. I am begging you. Just stop pushing me. Don't make me react. I'm holding myself back because of your condition. What will you do? Did I ever say that? What will you do? You are holding yourself back because of my condition. What will you do? Coward. Nonsense. Imagine when I went to my parents, you were just asking me, why will you come and pay my bright tax? It's not when I came back, you should talk about it. You're talking about one stupid new job. Just try me in this house, Daniel. Try me. I hope you know that my money is in this rent. What will you do? Throw me out. You want to beat me? Rubbish. See, don't try me, oh. And see, you will not work for that woman in this house. I'm telling you, all for my dead body, you will work for a woman. Come out to the garage and work like a man. I'm calling men, you two, you will come out. Mm -hmm.
mistake. Hello, Nora. Can you come over later, please? Okay. See you soon. No, I'm okay. Yeah. Hello? Who is here? Is anybody home? Who is here? Hello? Good day, ma. Good day. Please, is this Mr. Daniel's house? That's my husband. Who are you? Oh, um. Uh, we, uh, well, he has been absent from work and the, uh, the, the, the company, the company, the company wanted to know and ask and be sure that he was doing very fine. Okay. The company. Yes. She's coming. Oh, yeah, from that useless woman that wants to take my husband away, Abby. Toro, yes or no? I beg your pardon? We are only here to find out why our, our employee has been absent from work. You're not here for insults. Please tell him to kindly tender his resignation or resume work as soon as possible. Thank you very much. <laughs> resume work in this house. Calm down. Calm down. Just, you don't have to be rude. Did you see that? Hmm? He's married. He has a wife. What did I miss? You didn't know. Did you know he was married? How did I get myself entangled with a married man? You didn't know. Did you know he was married? You did, did, you know? did you hear her? I heard her. I heard her, but you know that she's she's obviously pregnant, and so maybe she might be bitter. Oh, please. And and... Oh, God, I beg. Pregnant or not, she was clearly rude. Let the woman breathe. Let the pregnant woman breathe. Oh God, it's just this is such an embarrassment. Please drive. I'm just asking. Shadi, I'm tired of all your excesses in this house. Can I not have some peace in my own house? Can I have some peace, please? No. I can't give you peace until you do the right thing. Yes, go and submit your resignation letter and go back to the garage. Huh? You're going to become a father soon now. You just jump from job to job, but the garage is the best thing for you. What, what more do you want me to do for you? Hmm? No, what more do you want me to do? All I'm asking for is a mutual appreciation for all my efforts. What more do you want? Go and see my parents and pay my bride price. Yes. Let's start from me going back to the garage and walk like a man. Go to the garage, walk for any woman. Ah. Okay. As you, just give me some time. How much more time do you need? This thing, three months is coming, eh, Daniel? I've been giving you time since when this pregnancy was just weeks. You're still asking for time? I don't have time. That's the thing I don't have. I don't have time. Eh? You need to come up with a plan, you understand? Big. Don't stand for this. Sha. Sha. Please don't tell me you've been in bed for the past two days. Don't tell me you've been like this. I just want to stay here. Sure, you stink. You haven't showered. You haven't. Get yourself together. Get yourself. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Or is that my strong, worthy, black, independent woman that I call my best friend? Please. Please. Tara, I don't know what's going on with me. I can't stop thinking about him. Even after I found out that he's married, I still think about him. I, 
is married. He is expecting a child. The earlier you accept that, the better for both of us. My God, I'm losing it. I am losing it. I just want you like I'm here. Oh. Can you, can you shower? Start by going to pee. Let me turn on the heater. If you need like hot water, I need to swatch you like a chin. Slow ready. Don't you think you owe me an explanation? I I I know I do. And first I first I I want to apologize for the way I left. I had an emergency call and I had to go. Okay. I didn't think you wanted to see my face again after we had sex. About that, why did you tell me you were married and expecting a child? The moment you just finished, you disappeared without a word. No notes, no calls, nothing. You just disappeared and you even stopped coming to work. What did I do to deserve that? I was scared. I was scared. I thought you would throw me out the moment you realized I was married. I thought you gave me this job because you thought I was single and casual. So you took advantage of the situation, right? Took advantage of me and then you used me. Why didn't you tell me you were married? I gave you myself because I thought you were deserving. Why didn't you tell me you were married? You never asked me. You never asked me any questions. Remember, you never even asked my CV. You just came to the garage, you just picked me up and I started working for you. I didn't even get an interview. How are you supposed to know? Sorry that I hurt you. Really am. Respectfully, I'm gonna have to end up your resignation. I don't wanna mess things up any further. Decline. Come back to work when your head is clear. Okay? I'm sure you know your way around. I can't sleep. Honestly, I don't think I can ever sleep well. What's wrong? I keep thinking about him, Nora. I keep thinking about it. I, ca I can't help myself. Are you still oozing over this guy? Sharon, Daniel is married. You need to let him go and move on. What is it about this guy that is driving you crazy? 
Maybe when you get to meet him, you would understand. Honestly, I, I want to go back to that house. I really like him. Just lay back on that bed. Close your eyes and sleep over it. I have to go, girl. I have a meeting tomorrow. Love you. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Danny boy. What is going on between you and your madam? She's been here severally looking for you. I hope you have not uh, done something. Everything is fine, Pale. Can I come back and walk here? You don't feel comfortable walking in a clean place? That's not the point. It's... My fiance, she's not, she's not comfortable with it. Oh. If you don't mind, I want to come back and work here. Oh, work, yeah, yeah. You are free to come. In fact, your contract with me still remains, so you can come back anytime. Hmm? Feel free to come back. Yeah, you are welcome. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hmm? Yeah. I'll just I'll come and start tomorrow. Daniel, you have a spot in my company. Why come back here? Peace of mind. Now, madam, please, can you just go? As you can see, I have work to do. Please, just go. I forgive you. I forgive you for lying to me. I forgive you for not telling me that you're married. I just want you back in the company. That's all. Who's that? Who's that? Daniel! Shadi, Daniel, this is the reason. Abi, she is because of this one that you neglected me at all. It's because of the. How much does she even have? Shadi, Shadi. You are looking at me. You are, you are looking at me. Just, just go and take you. Oh, you are protecting her, Abi. Shadi. No, no problem. You are protecting her. I am the mad one, Abi. Shadi, what are you what doing? What does she have? They are following her like a hippie. What are you doing? Shadi, now. Okay. Don't touch me. Do you understand? Listen, Shadi. What did I do? Shadi, for the. Go, 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 go. This addiction is to root to me alone. Ah! Me? It's because of this one you left me. You're a very useless man. No? You neglected my parents. You don't want to go and pay my dowry, Abby. Shadi, no, Abby? Shadi, please. No, Allah. It's your warm, Allah. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm the mad one. It's okay. Run, it's okay. It's okay. You are overreacting over someone else's husband. It's okay. Baby daddy. Baby daddy. He's not even married to her yet. So God, how did I get involved in this triangle? It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> baby daddy, baby brother, mommy, baby, whatever. Husband, fiance, it's fine. You know this now. You are more than this. You are what more? I just feel like, I feel like crap. Fighting over a man in public? God. That's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. It is. Okay, repeat after me. Say, I am enough. This is not a time. Of course, you know, I know that I'm enough. Oh, then just stop all of this. Just stop it all. I don't, I don't even know you to be somebody that is fighting over a guy. I don't know you like that now. And he's not what all of this, is he? What? Don't say that about Daniel. He is what it. He is. I like this guy. I do, Nora. Heck, maybe I even love him. But this whole drama around him is killing me. Okay, it has killed you. Now I want to revive you. I want to reassure you. You are enough. You are fulfilled. You have everything that you need. You should be content. What do I no. do? It's fine. We'll figure it out. I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why Nora is here. Don't become an alcoholic like me. Don't become an alcoholic like <laughs> me. It's fine. Figure it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you. See the way I'm petting you now. See the way I'm taking care of you. Mm? Thank you. You're not going anywhere today. Shall they let go of me? I can't do that. I should let go of you. So you, you go and meet that idiot, that good for nothing rich person to take you away from me. You lie. 
Sunday, I'm late for work. Stop problem. Just one thing I cannot do. I can't move from here. Except you plan on working from here. It's the only way you can go to work. Ah, this is how you want to pay me back, Daniel. Picking you off and because I'm turning you into this pleasant meal that you are. I think I will sit here and watch another person come and eat for my plate, Daniel. You lie. Stop speaking now. There's no work for me to do because I'm not leaving this place. Go and sit down, except you want to push me from here. Wait, wait, don't push me. Okay. Push me! Push me now! Don't push me from this road! Because I don't know where you're going to. The same work I paid for. You are mad. Madam. 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 What is it? I'm sorry, ma, but your cab is waiting outside. Hello, Ma. Hello. Hello, Ma. Ma, we need to move now. The clients are waiting at the side, so we need to move. They are waiting for us, Ma. Hello. Ma. Um, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Yes, Ma. The clients are waiting at the side, so we need to move now, Ma. Oh, well, that. Um, you know what? Maybe you should call them to reschedule or I could just send you the brief to your email and you can meet up with them. I don't know, whatever. Just excuse me, okay? Right, ma'am. I should take it easy. Ah, so I'm mad. That's why you're telling me to take it. I should calm down as in a mad person, Abi. No problem. I will show you what a mad person is. Sadi, 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 wait. Sadi now. Sadi, please. Sadi. Please, don't you mind, Seko. Stop him. Fiot. Stop him. Fiot. Shahinda. Did she bite me? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She bit me. I'm sorry. But how do you have a dog of a wife? No offense. How are you attracted to her? Nora, I don't I'm just asking help. a question. No, it's fine. I, I don't need to answer that. But I'm sorry again, please. I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, do you mind going out for dinner? What of us? What of drink? I said I'll pass. You don't have to yell, okay? Just, just answer this last question. I promise you, I won't, I won't bother you again. Don't you, don't you have any feelings for me? I mean, what we had doesn't that mean anything to you? Daniel, don't, don't you find him attractive? I need to know. What difference does it make? I don't, okay? 
So leave me alone now. This is the place you are hiding. Who are you? Who am I? It's me, Bakule. Your Bakule. Wait. Is this our baby? My baby? Masu, mommy, come out now and answer. He's asking you a question. Is this your baby? Both of you's baby. I don't know. I can hear. You're a wicked ah, person. Assign. Shade. You have not changed a bit. No, come on. Shade, you disappeared when I asked you to give me some time for me to get the contract approved. I mean, I've been, I've been looking for you. Why? Why are you trying to impose my baby on another man when you know I can take care of him? Stop work on me. Why did you enter here? Who are you now? You don't know what I'm talking about, Shadi. I don't know this man. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Shadi! I don't know, don't listen to him. Well, I don't, I've never met him before in his life. I'm telling you, I don't know him. This is your child. You've been saying it. Ah! Shadi, no, 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 no. You, you, you can't do this. Oga, Oga. It's like you're mad. It's like you're mad. Ah, Shadi, Konijie. Konijie. So all of this is what? Are you trying to play drama now? He said it's your baby. He said this baby is his own. Yes. Is he lying? I'm sorry. I did not mean to lie to you. It's just that this man, this man has bad luck. Ah. He's bad news Me. and I didn't want my baby to have anything to do with him. Look at you now. Eh? You look like the father of this child. You don't worry about coming. We are done. Please don't say that to me. Shelly, 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 listen. Shut up, your mouth, idiot! So all of this madness is because you 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 want to plant the child on me. No, I don't want to lose you because I love you. You don't want to you don't want to lose me. That's what this is about. Exactly. Ah, could you hear? Exactly. Oh, the Robin, oh, the Nigba, yeah. But they did that for We. Shadi, Shadi, you just. Shadi, 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 listen. Wait. Shadi, fine, come. Mama, let you go tell him. Follow him. Fine, Shadi, Shadi. No, Shadi, me. Okay. Shadi, wait first now. Come, let's. Oh, God. See, I want to meet you to the pass. Get out. Wait, 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 wait. Um, listen to me, Shadi. Shadi. Are you mad? Are you mad? There's something wrong with you. Hi. Good morning. Daniel. What are you doing here? I came for the job. I came to be interviewed. You're the applicant? Yeah. Oh, but I thought you were married and your wife... It's Turned out to be all lies. The child is a woman. Oh my god. I mean, I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I please be interviewed? I, I need this job. Is that all you need? Is that all you came for? I came for the job and... And?
<laughs> but Sean, let's be serious now. What's this surprise you've been meaning to tell me? Guess. I don't want to guess. I just want you to tell me. I want you to guess. No, I don't want to guess. Oh, it's so terrible at this. Okay, fine. Okay, this one that you're now guessing on. Um. Okay, how do I say this? Just say it already. Okay. Um. Oh God. <laughs> You got another job? <laughs> CEO, hello. We are pregnant. We what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is good. Oh, yeah. oh, this is good news. Oh. oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this gift. And thank you for waiting for me. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. We're having a baby. So I'm going to be a daddy. Yes, you are. So what are we going to name her? Him. Her. Him. Her. Him. What are we going to name him? Okay. <laughs>